I feel really confident in my womanhood now. Like I really feel like I've grown into like a solid woman. The worst thing you can do when things are starting to go wrong is sit in a spirit of indecision. Like, whoa, hold on. You Run want it back? Me that one back? Run Run it back. <laughs> whoa. I just took the chance to be definitive in what I want. And I was like, yeah, I do want to be an entrepreneur. I have connections. Um, I have a co-founder who also has connections in the industry and we're doing our big one. But can I imagine a new outcome mm -hmm. based off of what I've been presented? Not because I threw it all out the window. Yeah. Remember what I kept saying? I was like, I can't even tell you what next week is going to look like anymore because life keeps curving me. Like, no, totally. I'm not a baseball player. I cannot <laughs> catch these curveballs. I can't catch all of these. <laughs> I, yeah. I just feel like that's what's important in life. Not at all the outside stuff, like your community is what gets you through. And if you have love, you have everything. I took a makeup class from Priscilla mm -hmm. Ona. That's Rihanna's makeup artist. And she said something so profound to me. She said, you will never be presented an opportunity you're not ready no. for. No. And if you're presented this opportunity and you don't get it, you weren't ready you for weren't it. You weren't ready. So there's one, self-acknowledgement, mm -hmm. but then two, self-reflection. So if you do, if you do get it and you're have anxiety about it, release the anxiety because at yeah. some point or another, you are ready for this. Hi, and welcome to Talk About It with Kate. I am Kate, and we are kicking off season three with my favorite segment called Besties with the Best Tea. And today we have the OG bestie. We have <laughs> Valerie Edwards with us Hi. live in the flesh. And let's talk about something really quick. Let's do it. Um, The changes, babe. Where do we where do we want to start? I don't know. Where, where do we want to start? Okay, first of all, it's March 2024. It's March. Yeah. I we have not filmed since like August mm -hmm. of 2023. Granted, that is not to say we literally see each other all the time. All the time. Like yes. we, <laughs> we talk every We practically day. live together. Yeah. Yeah. But the the gist of this is change mm -hmm. and transformation. Transformation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and how we're so different in so many ways and just yeah. we uh the last six months we'll call it we'll mm -hmm. call it since yeah september six months yeah has it's been insane the changes have been <laughs> un the changes have been so violent and so fast it has been a train I'm not gonna say train wreck. No. But it has been a fast moving train. It has been a bullet train. It, it has. And we yeah. have gone from, we've traveled around the world in 80 days, basically. Yeah, absolutely. And we're, we're gonna talk about that change. Let's talk about the biggest change so far. Let's talk about it. Well, the biggest change for <laughs> for us in our friendship is okay. we moved. We've we, moved. We all have moved. We all yes. have moved. We have moved. Our group of besties. We've are all in different cities now, different parts of the city, mm -hmm. different places, and it has really I wouldn't say it's tested our friendship by any stretch of I wouldn't I feel like our closeness transcends yeah. our location, but I will say it has been an adjustment <laughs> and it is a huge change yeah. because I feel like we like to be together all the yeah. time. We're so communal. We are communal. Yeah. We're absolutely communal. And I feel like it's pushed us. Like we've been pushed to like a, a sense of like independence almost oh absolutely because we are co codependent co for sure on each other <laughs> emotionally very much absolutely and like if one of us is staying inside we're probably all staying inside or like you know like in in that way but mm -hmm. also it's like offered a freshness of like we're gonna figure this shit out like we together yeah. anything that we have gone through whether that's been like breakups career mm -hmm. changes location changes mindset changes everything health health physically yeah all of us we have like taken our health so seriously like we're we have a pilates princess i am a pilates girly she is a pilates i really am she's in the, in the pilates prince. i am in the lab okay and twice i have been working working over time <laughs> okay so let's talk about how we've worked through these changes okay let's talk about it let's let's start with you you go first so mm -hmm. you've had two three major changes so like besties moving mm -hmm. career change mm -hmm. relationship change in the way that not just like outwardly but with yourself yeah absolutely let's go we'll start there let's let's, let's go start there. there yeah which part <laughs> <laughs> okay. let's do you moved into your princess my princess suite your princess yes. suite is what we love to call it mm -hmm. and you're living alone i am living alone for the first time in my life 
How has that been for you? It's been the most, one of the most transformative times in my life because I've really had to face a fear of not being codependent and really yeah. relying on myself because I do live very community based. Mm -hmm. So for me to have this season of isolation has been one of the most challenging times, but one of the most transformative times. And I feel like I am unshakable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, Nothing. I do everything up myself. You do. I take the trash out. I'm like, I can do this. <laughs> Building furniture. Yeah. Okay. You are doing things yeah. on your own. Yeah. I'm taking all my groceries in alone. Yeah. Like, and then in the same breath, you got laid off from a job. Yeah. Let's, you want to go down the list? Let's do it. Okay. Let's so it. six months ago, mm -hmm. breakup, laid off, moved out of our shared home and started my life over. And then your besties moved away. And then my besties <laughs> announced that they were moving. And all of this happened in one month. It did. So it was just like the firing squad of my life. Just, just, boop, boop, just down the line. Yeah, because so, what, what do they say? What is when it rains, it pours? Oh, it poured. And honestly, it didn't really hit me until like a couple months later mm -hmm. when I was like out of like trying to figure everything out and just being so like locked in on that that I was like, what happened to the plot? Like, what is <laughs> happening? I have no control over anything. Yeah. I'm like in the shower. I'm like, oh, I'm in this studio. I'm single. I'm doing, committing a career change. Like what is, what is really going on here? Yeah. Like, what do we keep saying? We said <laughs> the writers went into the room and fucking cleared. Oh, the, the writer's table. room was fired. They were on strike. The okay. Strike, Cause they was, have changed the, the entire, the actors and the writer's strike was going on at the same time. Yeah. The SAG. And we were just and like, so our I life had a writers. strike on my life as well they left they us. went in and ripped everything up everything i had planned out Go. the window bye <laughs> so let's have a rewrite yeah this is a new season yeah trash the plot Absolutely. trash the characters we need new characters new setting i will say that when the rug gets ru ripped from underneath you you can look at it as like this is a painful time and mm -hmm. this is hard and mm -hmm. it is hard but it's also a chance to start over and do things new and heal and really just you know take a left <laughs> yeah, and then another one if you have to. Yeah, and another one after and that. another one and another yeah. one, and you get so much more comfortable with change and just developing yourself and being self reliant. Yeah, and it's just I know that after when you come out of it, you're so much stronger and you're so much happier and you're so much healthier, and you start to realize why things didn't work out. That part it doesn't it doesn't make sense now, and you're just like, what is going on? Like I just want to lay on this floor and cry. <laughs> I'm fat, yeah. <laughs> Pouting, I'm kicking and screaming through these changes. I mean, <laughs> shit, like. But then one day you wake up and you're like, you know what? Like, it's kind of necessary. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. I survived. Yeah. Was it bad? Yes. yes. Did I survive it? Also, yes. Yes. Also, also yes. Because mm -hmm. man, I feel like for me personally, mm -hmm. my changes were like I felt them coming. You know, like yeah, you feel I, it. I felt it on the horizon, like something you can feel the season changing. Pivotal is gonna happen, mm -hmm. and like I had a lot of anxiety. And my biggest thing I feel like for like 2022 into 2023 was I had my anxiety on lock. Like yeah. nothing could trigger me, nothing could this, nothing could that. Like I felt yeah, it was wrong. I was very wrong, but I felt like. I was unshakable. Yeah. Until I was shook up. And until you're like, shook up and you get humbled a little bit. I got humbled a lot of it. Like, yeah. The end of 2023, it was like a siren. Yes. Yeah, send the police. <laughs> send Hello. <laughs> Mommy, I are you there? there? <laughs> like, what happens? Like, are you there? So, speaking for myself, I feel like the changes that happened offered me such a new perspective of yes. myself. Absolutely. In a way that's like, okay, what I thought to be is not going to be. Yeah. But can I imagine a new outcome based mm -hmm. off of what I've been presented? Not because I threw it all out the window. Yeah. Remember I kept saying, I was like, I can't even tell you what next week is going to look like anymore because life keeps curving me. Like, no, totally. I'm not a baseball player. I cannot <laughs> catch these curveballs. I can't catch all of these. <laughs> I cannot catch all of them. Like we were in the freaking yeah. ball pit, like <sighs> dodging and only so much. Yeah. And, you know, there just comes a point where it's like, we could fall back into old habits like, you know, mm -hmm. you you run away from your problems mm -hmm. a little bit. Like mm -hmm. we were dancing our problems away. We were like crying and having wine nights and like yeah. just doing like what girls do. Yeah. But at the same time, like dusting each other off like you got this. Bitch. You got this. Like, yeah. You just 
just know. I, I don't know what I would have done without you guys in my community. <laughs> I, you guys really propped me up before I could prop myself up. Like I, yeah. I just feel like that's what's important in life. Not all the outside stuff. Like your community is what gets you through. And if you have love, you have everything. If you have everything. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. And that is important. Lean on your friends. Yeah. Too. Like for sure. I think that that showed us too. We can lean on our friends because mm -hmm. we're also very um, hyper independent. Mm -hmm. at the emotional same time. thugs. Yeah. Emotional. And for what? <laughs> do, do you really gain anything from being an emotional <laughs> thug? You don't. You no. don't. Vulnerability. When they were like strength there's strength and vulnerability it's so true yeah it's so true because sometimes you can't do it all on your own no and you never sometimes know you can't you never yeah. know who's gonna pick you up too. you don't so like you know thankfully we did have each other but also yeah. i think i feel like we we like outsourced uh other things like my outsource mm -hmm. was my move because like i needed to like you needed something else to focus on i needed something else to focus on because of how brutal yeah life was towards the end of 2023 that i was just like uh it's a little muddy here it's yeah. a little muddy where i lay my head i need to get out of this there's a lot of heartbreak in this place in mm -hmm. this city in this time and like my move has offered me a new perspective on like my career and my life and yeah. also my friendships too because i feel like in a way my friendships are stronger now that i'm away because i'm more intentional about my yeah, time and like for my sure. check-ins and things like that versus like oh, i'm gonna i'm gonna see you on friday like no i'm it's going to be a couple of weeks before yeah. I see you. So like, let's like, let's talk. Let's like have about it. And I feel like your, your outlet too was your career change. Mm -hmm. So like, I want to talk about that. Let's talk I about it. Talk about, I want to talk about your, first of all, there's this thing going around where like your bestie gets a new job and you have no <laughs> bloody idea what they do. Yeah. <laughs> that was me to you. Cause you were just like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And I was like, oh, okay, that sounds cool. And then like three months later, you're like, yeah, I have like six clients. Like, I, <laughs> we have this project, this thing. And I was like, you're like, what is going what on over happened? there? <laughs> so let's talk about her. Let's talk, let's about, talk the about it. Let's talk about it. So I have been in corporate America for eight years now, since I graduated college. And I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur and do things on my own, but I definitely feel like I needed to become an expert first in my field. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say like getting laid off was actually a blessing because I was complacent. I was cool. Like mm -hmm. I was comfortable. I was making good money. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't really trying to make no move. Cause there was no complaints. I was, yeah, I had yeah. no complaints. Yeah. No notes. <laughs> so I was like, so I was like, okay, this layoff, I can be sad about it and I can curl up in a ball and I can shrivel up and die. Or I can make a decision to bet on myself. And that's what I've decided to do. Period. Because the worst thing you can do when things are starting to go wrong is sit in a spirit of indecision. Like, whoa, wh hold on. You remember back. that one back? <laughs> that back. Whoa. Come on, The come worst on. thing you can do when you are in a really bad place and things have been ripped from underneath you is sit in a spirit of indecision. We think we're like, all of these things are happening and all of these things get taken away. Maybe it's a breakup that needs to happen or you don't know if you want to make the career change or city change. And you sit in this like, well, should I do this or should, it, should I do that? And you're like, God, where are you? Like everything is going awry. And God is like, I'm waiting for you to get out this waiting room. Ooh. Are you going to go left or right? Ooh. Are you going to say yes to this and no to this? Ooh. So you, I just took the chance to be definitive in what I want. And I was like, yeah, I do want to be an entrepreneur. I have connections. Um, I have a co-founder who also has connections in the industry. And we're doing our big one. You are doing your big I one. I am. A, sometimes we call each other and I'm like, you know what? We're business owners. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing this. Uh, we're, we're CEOs. You got co-founders. That's on insane. The dotted line. Because I'm just a girl. I'm, and I'm like, I am doing very adult things right now. Please, <laughs> when I tell you that is my life. Yeah. Like anytime I get like a phone call mm -hmm. or like anything, I'm yeah. like, oh my goodness. Like, yeah. First of all, yes. Because yes. Yeah. Second of all, when did that happen? Yeah. First of all, I do this shit. <laughs> Second of all, this is crazy. Yeah. So- <laughs> Do you feel like you could talk about kind of like you talked about your why? Like, yeah, you got laid off, but you weren't going to sit in that. No. And then your next step was um, acknowledging your resources, mm -hmm. acknowledging mm -hmm. your power, stepping into your power. Yeah. So you address the problem, mm -hmm. created a solution. 
steps into your power. That's what we do. And now you are flourishing. But what is it that really sets you apart from some, like a regular entrepreneur? Like not a regular, I won't say a regular entrepreneur, but like somebody who knew from jump, like I want to be an entrepreneur versus like you came into the corporate world Mm -hmm. out of college. So like you had a set idea for yourself, but now you're here Mm -hmm. and it's, this is probably where you're going to remain. You know, you you go You go from business owner to what? I went to go entrepreneur. CEO to what? (laughs) Speaking for myself. Yeah. Once you go entrepreneur, you don't go back. Yeah, yeah. It's too good. It's too, it's hard as shit. Like, let's not discredit the fact that it is. Oh, it's absolutely hard. And I, it's, I'm still working through the anxiety of being an entrepreneur because it's cool to wake up on Friday and have, you know, your bi-weekly check. <laughs> and now I'm looking, I'm writing invoices and I'm like, um, net 30, 60, you know, oh, shit, like, 90. But I just, I'm still like growing strength in that and just knowing that I can do this and mm-hmm. I can, I can keep growing and I can keep flourishing because I know what I'm doing. There's a reason why I've been positioned to be here and called to be here because I do know what I'm doing. Even when I feel like I don't, I know I, that I can trust my instincts and I know that I'm going to make it, you, you know? You're trusting the fact that you know there is a reason for this. Yes. And I, you know, I took a makeup class from Priscilla Ono. Mm-hmm. That's Rihanna's makeup artist. And she said something so profound to me. And I took that class like six years ago. Yeah. She said, you will never be presented an opportunity you're not ready no. for. No. And if you're presented this opportunity and you don't get it, you weren't ready you for You weren't it. ready. So there's one, self-acknowledgement, mm-hmm. but then two, self-reflection. So if you do, if you do get it and you're have anxiety about it, release the anxiety because at yeah. some point or another you are ready for this. Yeah. And then the flip side is if you didn't get it, reflect on maybe why. Like, could I have been better at this? Could I be sure. better at that? Or think the fact that it, you didn't get the mm-hmm. opportunity and flop it mm-hmm. because that is also what ends up happening too. Is like you fumble your own bag yeah. by either trying to force something that wasn't mm-hmm. natural to you or like take away from another person or like another opportunity when it wasn't meant for you. For sure. So it's like, there's this spectrum and I feel like we're like slowly like inching the ladder. Oh, chipping away. Yeah. I feel like I've been chipping away. I moved to LA when I was 18 and I have been chipping away at building a life for myself. Mm -hmm. And I think going into 30 right now, I've had the time to self reflect. Like I'm very, I'm extremely hard on myself when it comes to my career. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I never say like, I'm so proud of you. And I've stopped doing that because it's like, when you look back at the time that's passed, you really have been doing this shit. Yes, some things, you know, you had to take alternate routes or you had denials and things like that. But when you look at the grand scheme of things, but doing it for a decade. make some shit happen, okay? I've I've been hanging in here, okay? And that's so (laughs) crazy too, because I want to talk about, (laughs) I want to segue into the fact that we are both turning 30 this year. Yeah. I know. I honestly am welcoming this next decade with open arms. Like, I am excited. I feel the most like myself right now. I feel the most confident. I feel the most secure in my instincts. I, I'm excited for what the next decade has to bring. I feel wiser. Mm-hmm. I make better decisions. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about that. <laughs> let's talk about the impulsivity check. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's talk about that. Because I've also, really gotten that in check I was over the say, years. Me and you? Impulsive. Oh. Impulsive was a minute. I, I'm a free spirit. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I'm a free spirit with charisma. Like, what are you? It's the Taurus of energy. The I know. Taurus Libra energy. I know. I know. Because you're a Libra rising. Yeah. And I'm a Taurus moon. Mm-hmm. And you're a Taurus rising. Mm-hmm. So we're, our Taurus <laughs> moons are, we're, we're yeah. here. We're here. Like, yeah. Should but we? I, was, let me tell you, up mm-hmm. until probably like six months ago. Yeah. And so life, life on me. I was like, I cannot believe I'm turning 30. I rebuke. Yeah, yeah. I was like, 30? First of all, these gray hairs. <sighs> That's just the stress, boo. But <laughs> That's just the entrepreneur stress. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, it's like, what the fuck happened to my 20s? Like, where it did... It feels so long, but it also feels so short. Well, COVID also snatched That's four so years true. of our 20s That's so from true. us. And like, kind of... Like halted, but also fast forwarded. So like it halted. Like we're we were stuck in 2019 for a minute. Yeah. And now it's like boom. Now we're in 2024. Yeah. And you're looking back at like the last four years, and you're like, okay. So we spent two years inside, two years yeah. trying to figure out how to be outside again. And mm-hmm. now everybody's kind of getting reacquainted with themselves. But at the same time, it's like 
we're hitting milestone birthdays. People yeah. turn 18 and 21, 25, and now 30 in COVID era. Yeah. yeah, in this era. And I just feel like, to your point, I am more excited to turn 30 because I do feel like, all right, I just did the 20s. I did it. I did it. I, I have nothing. Survived I it. left no crumbs. No. Like, I have done it all. I broke the table. <laughs> okay, the table is flipped and broken. I use I used my time wisely. It may not look like it. <laughs> but I, you I may did. see us. From the outside, it might look a little crazy. The optics might be off, but I really feel like we took, we did it. We did I mean, it up. And started- I'm blessed that we get the opportunity to live through our 30s. Like, yeah. that is just a blessing in itself. So I can't be sad about getting older because I get to be here. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I get to experience stories. more life. Yeah. I have stories to tell. Yeah. I have so many friends. Mm-hmm. I have loved. Lived and loved. Lived and we loved. We lived, laughed, loved. Okay. <laughs> lived and So laugh. I think 30s are just going to be, you know, our 20s with a little bit more money. <laughs> a little more. Semen. A little wiser. Yeah. A little more chill. Yeah. And a little more money. I feel like within myself too, I'm making decisions based off my outcome. Yes. Like based off like- I can look at a full situation instead of being impulsive. I can take the chance to man. be like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't react that way. Maybe you I know? shouldn't say this to this person mm-hmm. that I love because <laughs> yeah. I'm upset. Like <laughs> maybe, you know what? Maybe you do need healthy communication skills. Maybe maybe conflict resolution is important. Maybe therapy <laughs> yeah. is the maybe solution. therapy is wise for that you. That was my coming into self was when I was yeah. like, damn, you do need I therapy. I need therapy. Fuck. <laughs> Cause I was so I yeah. was so self-soothing that I felt like yeah. I didn't need a therapist to tell me what I was doing wrong. I knew it. Oh, you could, absolutely do. I could see it. But like, no, the like outside perspective mm-hmm. from somebody who's not jaded. As somebody mm-hmm. who like has not been equally as traumatized as you yeah. in the ways that you have been is like refreshing and nice. For and, sure. Like, you know, I felt like I was backpacking off your therapist for a second. You were. You- no, I be dropping gems. <laughs> Listen, I will drop some shit and they're like, dang, your therapist is good. I'm like, I know. Jeannie knows what's going on. I used to want to send her flowers. I'd be like, can I get her I address? love her. Yeah. She up. gives it to me straight too. And I, that's what you need. Yeah. That's yeah. what we all need. But I just feel like. You know, in the, time is of the essence, obviously. Yeah. Whether that be like 10 years mm-hmm. or six months, mm-hmm. like what you take from it and what you make of it is yeah. really going to be what holds you together. Like yeah. that's your glue outside of your community. Because, you know, like unfortunately a lot of people don't have community, yeah. but you have to create it. And like when I look at like friend groups or I look at like spaces that mm-hmm. I walk into and, and I see how people are interacting, I'm like, oh my God. This is their community. Yeah, so this sweet. is their family. This it's, is their chosen family. Yeah, I'm less judgmental of like things that I may not relate to because I can't relate in that community. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, but I don't. I'm not judging. Removing no. the judgment from like mm-hmm. you know things that I might not relate to is also something I feel has come with time. Oh, for sure. And just leading your life with compassion. Like we are all just people trying to figure things out and have mm-hmm. gone through things, and we don't always present ourselves in the best way. But you know what? That's your people. <laughs> That's your people. your people. And forgiveness. Forgive yeah, yourself. forgiveness. Like, forgive yourself from what how you may have. Set yourself free. Man. Set yourself free. Set yourself free. Because you down. can't present your best self to the world if you are still holding on to resentment and hurt and pain. You got to let it go. Let that shit go. You got to let it go. You have to move on and you just have to know that what happened to you in the past doesn't mean that you're going to repeat the cycle again. If you put the work in, you can change your entire life. Or the that. trajectory can be completely different than what you planned, but it can be better yeah. than what you thought. And if it does happen again, I watched a TikTok where this woman was like, if you find yourself in situations that have already one. situated, yeah. then it's you, baby. It's you. The cycle and I was like, is you. That's so rude. Because it's like, yeah, in relationships, for example, like dating, mm-hmm. when you're like, if I get hurt again, or if I date another loser, <laughs> I'm going to this, I'm going to that. Well, yeah. Like, babe. You picked it. it you picked them. <laughs> well, you can date the same person in a different body. Ooh, a ooh. lot of people, your type, ooh, your it's type is your itself. pattern. So heal from the pattern. I feel like a lot of times we focus on healing from the pain of, that someone caused instead of healing the pattern. That is just as important. Another gem. Enough. I mean, Jeannie got it going on. He's <laughs> <laughs> a car. But that's what I've really been focused on is just healing from my old patterns. Like Mm -hmm. I do not want to repeat the past. I want to present my best self to the world and I want to lead with love and compassion and kindness. 
So that takes a lot of change. Man. That takes a lot of change and it takes a lot of accountability, accountability looking at the mistakes that you've made and saying, I'm going to make the choice to do something different. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be healthy. I'm going to be the person I know I can be. The person that you deserve to be. The person yourself. you deserve to be for yourself. Yeah. yeah. And that's, yeah. that is the one thing is like you, st you spot it. It's so easy to spot when somebody isn't accountable or is projecting. Oh, I can tell when someone is unhealed. I can, I can have one it. conversation with somebody and I'm like, oh, you have a lot of pain that you have not dealt with. I be running. I'm yeah. Like, uh, you. I'm out. Nice to I, meet you. I'm out at the first red flag. And that's friendships. That's jobs. That's relationships. You are not going to break me. Mm -hmm. I have built myself up on the back of myself. You are not going to come in and mess no, this up. Beyonce like said at that. all. Yeah. You won't you break are, myself. Okay. okay. You, you will not. <laughs> you will not. I will not allow it. Not this time around. Not this time around. I'm so much wiser and smarter just because of the things that have happened. Yeah. And mm, I, no. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, I'm very proud of us. Oh, and I'm, I'm so proud. I'm also proud of anybody who's like, who is relating right now. Like, yeah. If you are sitting here and you're like, yes, sisters. Mm -hmm then I mm -hmm. am proud of you because, yeah. man. Growth is not easy and it's very uncomfy and there can be a lot of tears, but you just got to keep pushing. There should be tears. Oh, yeah. If it's there cathartic. Is <laughs> you need to release it. It <laughs> needs to, you, like I said, you do not yeah. need to be an emotional thug. Yeah. You can cry. You can call your friends and say, I'm not having a good day. Like, I'm having a moment. I just need you to sit with me. Yeah. Like, you need to do those things. And I, I'm that friend and I also have friends that are like, do you have a second? Like, yeah. can I just let it rip? And I'm can like, I just yes. cry? Do you want me to listen or do you want me to talk? Right. And then just like in that, in that asking alone shows mm -hmm. an openness to the yeah. person receiving it. But also it's just like, all people need sometimes is five minutes and then they can For go sure. about the rest of the day. The rest yeah, of the week I'm good. Even. Yeah. Like, oh, that was great. A little cry, a little yeah. nap. Okay. You're like, oh. A little, a little smoke, smoke, a little, a little, <laughs> whatever you gotta do, a little bath. A little self-soothing. <laughs> okay. Right, right, and right. We're good. You know, all you need in this life is that. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be a bestie. It could be a coworker. Like, it can hey, be anyone. two seconds. Mm -hmm. My man, my woman, my best friend, I'm going mm -hmm. through this. What would you do? Boom. Yeah. And if it doesn't sound like sound advice, it isn't. <laughs> if it sounds like bad advice. If it advice, sounds crazy, it is it crazy. It probably yeah. is. Yeah. Let's yeah, have hit, discernment. Let's hit that yeah. left we were talking about earlier. You can't ask everybody for advice. No. You can't. Look at no. somebody and be like, is this somebody is I would this want advice Is this the life that from? I want? Yes. Is, I, do I like how you handle things? <laughs> if the answer is no, then you probably shouldn't be making advice. I'm probably going to just you be like. You probably should skip that. I was having a day. Yeah. And now I'm going to have the day somewhere else. Yeah. But thank you anyways. Yeah. Because sometimes, you. you know, people offer an unsolicited advice. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do, don't that. do that. Don't Allow do that. me to vent to you. I didn't say I wanted the advice. Yeah. I didn't say <laughs> I want to hear that. Or people will give you the most left. Like when I, I was on the phone recently and I mm -hmm. looked stressed and somebody walked past me and was like, but at least you look good. And I was like, that's not helping me in this situation at all. Thanks. At least you're pretty. Like, at least what, at what least am I going to do with that? <laughs> Gives me nothing. That is not fixing my issue right now. Pretty still hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty hurts. Okay. <laughs> Another Beyonce Another gem. one. Because, you know, just, you know, just. Yeah. Let me, let it be. What do they say? What will be, will be. Yeah. What will be, will yeah. be. Yeah. There was another part to that. I'm not going to get it. But what what is, is what is going to be, you know? Yes. It's already it written. It is what it is. Yeah. It is already Yeah. The written. rest is still unwritten. Okay. <laughs> we listen to a lot of good music. Oh yes, we're, we we're dropping the, the lyrics. Well, right yeah, now. we're dropping gems and we're That's dropping you know. lyrics. Yeah, we're here. We're with tuned the, in. Uh, we're locked in. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the music. Music helps. Music is therapy. Dancing. Yeah, we are dancing. Dance it queens. out. Dancing Dance it out. Queens. Work out. Do what you got to do. Yeah, go to a smash room. Yeah, journal. Paint. Mm -hmm. But that's the yeah. that's the season. The season of change that we're in is mm -hmm. allowing for outlets yeah and support and growth mm -hmm. and vulnerability and yeah and i'm gonna be so excited to rewatch this and like our last besties with the bestie <laughs> because we were in such life could not be more different it could not be more different i the plot is insane it has thickened for sure it might as well have been like 10 years ago like the yeah. way how we switched up yeah but, um i up. feel like we're women now we grow. I, I feel like we're women. We've come into ourselves. My dad made that comment the other day. He was mm -hmm. like, 
you are giving this grown woman woman yeah to you he mm-hmm. was like i don't know when it happened he was like but hey like, yeah you're, you're like, doing this you're yeah. yeah and you know it's the, the the stepping into it like that that one meme of yeah the girl stepping on the steps that yeah with the back I feel shit. I feel really confident in my womanhood now. Like I really feel like I've grown into like a solid woman. I love this. I us. love it. Oh my god. <laughs> Besties with the best tea is gonna be some profound some shit. Tea, yeah. We, we thought we were gonna be here talking chat and shit. What? No. <laughs> we're gonna talk we're about life. gyms. Life and we're real healing. Way. And I'm so happy for us. Like me too. I am praying and continue to pray mm-hmm. for like our growth and life. For sure. The things that we deserve. Absolutely. Oh, it's mine. Also, yeah. for the things that we don't deserve. Let's just block Let's just that, get that energy. out the way. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get pray, that out the way. Pray now. that energy away. Yeah. But also praying for or manifesting for the things that we want and praying yeah. for the strength to keep it. And like praying acknowledging for the strength to keep that it. life is hard and it's going to be hard. Yeah. Life is not going to get easier for anybody. It's no, you just get wiser. You, you make choose better your, decisions. Yeah, you choose trust, your heart. trust your instincts more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at us. It, what? <laughs> I mean, the growth, really. Come on. Not the growth. <laughs> She's healthy. I'm living. I'm loving. And, you know, this season of Besties of the Besties is really going to be something that I think the people are going to live for. Yeah. Especially the gals. Yeah. Because we're here. And we're, we're here. here to uplift. Like, are you Absolutely. Younger? Absolutely. Like, I think my biggest motivating factor is community. Yeah. And... If I can help and I can serve, that's where I feel most fulfilled. Like, yeah. I realize my purpose is community. Yeah. And that mean girl shit is out, out the window. If you're mean. Out. Not over here. No. Not over here. First of all, being mean. Why do you want to approach the world with being cold? Like, why do you not want to be your warmest, softest self? Damn. Even why if the world not? made you cold. Why? But you could have a yeah. blanket. Like your community could be the blanket. But you have a choice with pain. It can either make you cold or it can learn to have compassion for others. Like because I have been through a lot of shit, I can be there for you because I know what it feels like to feel alone or to feel abandoned or whatever you're feeling right now. So mm-hmm. either you can become a demon, you mm-hmm. can make that choice, or you can take the harder route I was and lead with love. Literally, I just said this because of the grief that I have mm-hmm. felt in the last six months mm-hmm. i am more empathetic absolutely people. i am like absolutely it, things don't they're not the same no so you know like there's so much realer things that are happening in people's lives and i'm not going to not lead with compassion i am not going to make my pain my personality you know what i mean Whew. i i'm a healed girl <laughs> damn Val. yeah because <laughs> you can tell when someone's pain is their personality yeah they lead with it yeah. and it's like You can lead with that or you can lead with compassion. You can lead with love. You can lead with being sweet and nice and friendly and warm. And would you not rather want to be that? Yeah, I would. Would you not rather want to be a joy to be around? I feel better. I would like to be a joy to be around. I love when people are having fun because of me or like happier because I'm I'm there. Yeah. Not even on no ego shit. Just just like, well, we're both having a good time. It's how you're in service of others. Like you don't understand you being kind to somebody could have just made their day. It could have changed their day around. Changed you could have said something to them that made them feel better. Mm. So why not do that? Why not? Let's, well, let's live on that side. Kindness is free. Yeah, kindness is free. And you don't age faster. Being mean makes you age like milk. That's what and they're I'm saying. saying Botox that's what they're saying. only get you so far. I don't know what's going on over there, <laughs> but that's what they're saying. <laughs> Maybe that's why the younger generation is aging badly. They're mean. They are mean. They are very mean and, and cold. And cold. Their yeah. baseline is yeah. frivolous. Like You know what though? I think it's just their age. And I think with time, you'll get all here. can be healed. You'll be a ray of sunshine like me and <laughs> Yes, I. yes. That's not to say we don't have bad days. We do. But of course. The bad days don't feel It's not as everyone bad. else's problem. No. You know, it's mine. Oh, I'm about to tell somebody that next time. Yeah. Your though. bad day is not my problem. Seek help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seek help. Phone a friend. Seek help. Yeah, phone a friend. Call or, someone. Or, you know, watch the latest episode of, of Besties of, with the oh, Besties. I mean, of course. Of course. <laughs> so with that being said, please subscribe to our segment. You know, you can subscribe to the channel. You can Valerie, subscribe to all of it. Valerie's good. She's here. I'm this, here. We started this together. We're in this together. Yeah. We have new insight, new perspective. Change is great. We're healed. We're, we're healed. growing. We're glowing. I love this. What else can you say? It's the mantra. (laughs) So as always, please remember to follow Val. We will link all her socials below. 
as well as me, Caitlin Diaries, and Candy House LA to get the latest and greatest on Talk About It with Kate. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Profound. <gasps> I, was gonna, I was going to go for I, it. Hey, Dude. I was following your lead. <laughs>